Colleen Schneider. I'm a fighter and trainer out of Syndicate Mixed Martial Arts. I use the Surge 360 on a daily basis in my own training and with my clients. I like to use the Surge 360 as a part of my warm-ups before I begin my MMA training, be it kickboxing or grappling or wrestling or whatever I'm doing that day. So one of the things I like to do is uh, use it to warm up my shoulders. It's really good for rotational work. Go both directions here. Do that on the left side and the right side. Also do punches across my body. That push-pull motion, working the antagonistic muscles as well, getting some hip rotation, core is engaged. It's a really good machine to use to warm up before getting get into my fight training. So I'm going to go through a few moves with you guys that I use on a daily basis, my training to incorporate the, uh, the Surge 360 in ways that are specific to mixed martial arts and also a great workout in general. So the first, I'm going to get down in a good wrestling stance. Here, right? Nice solid base, legs engaged, core is tight, and I'm just driving. Forward, back, forward, back. Nice strong push pull. I'm doing that drive out, that pull back. I'm keeping my good athletic stance, my wrestling stance, the whole time through that movement. Get in your fight stance, standard south ball, you can work both, and then you just throw in one, two, one, two, jab, cross. Fully extend, and you get that nice pull back from the surge 360 as the other arm comes out. Pick the speed up, push, pull, push rotation. So it's a, a great movement to train that endurance for your punching, get that full extension, rotation, getting the retraction on your punches. Again, for kickboxing, you can also work knees on the Surge 360. So I grab the handles up nice and high, and as I drive my knee up, I pull the handles back into me. All right, so I'm driving my knee up, get that counter pull with my arms. I feel like I'm grabbing an opponent in a clinch and pulling them into me as I throw my knee. Okay, and then we have land mounts. Again, I get a nice solid base here. This is more about rotation, right? Come to my hip, extend all the way out, back to my other hip. You can pivot your feet. You're using your hips and your core to rotate, which in MMA or sports in general is where a lot of your power comes from. So landmines are training power generation from the core here. Also getting a good arm workout out of it. Rotation there.